Well, it's after Christmas, I have time again, so here we are. The Intel Arc RGB gaming mousepad. I'm going to go over the box and unbox it. So there's not a whole lot on the box. We have a diagram of it here in the dimensions. We have a model number and a description. It's rated for 100 milliamps at 5 volts. So fun fact about the older USB standards, like the USB 2.0 standards, um, you can draw up to 500 milliamps, but it's in units of 100. So you can't really have a device that uh, takes 50 milliamps. I mean, it can, like you don't have to use the whole 100. But in terms of rating, you can either rate for 100 or 200 or 300 and so on, right? You can, and that half an amp that the plug can deliver is chopped up into units of 100 milliamps. So that's why if you have like a USB hub, like the hub itself, that's a chip that has to take 100 milliamps. So then you can only have four ports coming off it unless you're powering it externally because then that's 100 milliamps for each of those ports. Anyway, I digress. So we have some product features on the side here. Um, notably here, splash resistant apparently, so I'm looking forward to testing that. Apparently the uh, micro textured cloth surface ensures that liquids will form droplets for easy cleaning. We've got our dimensions again, um, RGB perimeter backlight, um, Intel Arc preset color profiles across an RGB strip. It's a uh, plug and play apparently, so I've actually got a power bank as well that I'm looking forward to plugging it into. Soft microfiber surface and the anti-slip rubber base. And it was made in China. So let's open this thing up. And you know what I didn't prepare is I didn't get my knife to hand. Let's reach across the table and grab that. I wonder, did that end up being a torso reveal? As a comment on my last video where I said no one's here for my torso and someone said torso reveal when, but I think YouTube didn't like the look of that. So I've seen the comment, but it doesn't actually show up under the video. Anyway. So here it is. Let's roll it out. There is going to be a slight framing issue here, I suspect. It's a little bit big. Um, <laughs> but we've got our little user manual here that came rolled up in it, in the middle of the roll. It's a FanFit mouse pad, apparently. That must be a company that makes these with various different um, designs on them and various different preset profiles. Um, but yeah, so that's the manual. And we have a USB cable here. Oh, it's USB Type-C. And on this end, we have the Type-C plug. So it's quite flexible by the looks of it. Um, let's grab that power bank. It's the LED work light that I did a video on years and years ago. Or not years and years, it can't be that long. At some point in the past, anyway. Okay. So the lights come on on my power bank. Hmm, one moment. Ah, it's gone. Come back, give me lights, anything. It's a power bank, the power bank's died. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie me. That's annoying. Is that actually, is it, no, the batteries haven't run out because the, the light bit's still working, that's weird. Okay, so if I plug it back in, it comes on. So we have blue, we have what looks like a purple and blue arc pattern, a white and a sort of greenish color. We have a variety of colors in any case. Um, let's move on from that. 
and let's talk about that splash resistance, shall we? I mean, yeah, sure, I guess. I mean, that's that's still damp, isn't it? So let's let's grab a paper towel and let's mop that up. Yeah, it, I don't know. That still feels pretty damp to me. I'm not sure the splash resistance is really that good, to be honest. I mean, it, it doesn't, the water isn't like full on soaking into it. And it ha doesn't seem to have broken anything, but. Yeah, that's still, it's not that damp. I'll give it credit, it's not that damp. It's still a little damp. Uh, it's not waterproof. I don't know how much credit it deserves for splash resistance, if I'm completely honest. But it's fine. I, 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 can, I can see how they could justify it. Like, it's only a little bit damp. It's really... It is drying out at this point. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll, I'll give them that. It's splash resistant, sure. Why not? Fair enough. So that is the Intel Arc RGB gaming mouse pad, or rather it is the bits of it that I could fit in the shot because that's the nature of filming this on my kitchen table with a tripod. Um, yeah, I hope you found that informative. Um, let's pop the lights off again and I'll just see if I can cycle through the settings a bit more without the power bank going off so I'll press the button now so that looks like is that just standard rainbow that's just standard sort of rainbow that would be off there's our solid blue that's a sort of pinky white I'm seeing some kind of pinker bits oh it looks really pink on camera Well, in any case, that's all of the settings. Um, yeah, hope this was useful. Uh, bit of a lower effort one, I suppose. I mean, it feels a bit silly, but I said in the last video I did that I might do an unboxing, so subscribe if you want to see that. Um, so yeah, I have. It's dark now. Thank you. Goodbye.